All right, today we're gonna do some cooking. We are gonna make pasta all'aglio all'olio, which is pasta is linguine. They're spaghetti-like things, but they're flat like a tongue, like that. All right, so linguine with garlic. Take a few cloves of garlic, you know, two or three, depending on how many people you're cooking for. Good oil, a little salt, pepper, hot pepper, and then we're gonna finish it off with a tomato salad. Onion, Spanish onion, really tasty, sweet. Tuna in olive oil, basil. That's it, and then use a little bit of wine inside the pasta, and that's it. Jalapeno, chopped up, garlic chopped up. Hot oil on the pan, boom. Chicka boom, doom, boom. See that, see that sizzle? Hear the sizzle, give it a little shake. Shake and bake. We got the water on boil. Put a little salt in a second here. Okay. Hot water. Smell that sh. Shoot a little white in there. <laughs> Let me get some wine. We're gonna cook these, we're gonna cook these after. Ruffolini. It's, that's for George. A little shot of pepper. Yeah. Make it nice and spicy. This thing's almost ready to go. I'm gonna throw some salt. One big tablespoon for every gallon. And a little bit more. If you suffer from uh, hypertension, too bad. And on the side, we're gonna make a tuna salad for the carnivores in the house. A couple of tomatoes, because I know this warthog in me. We need some tuna in our, in our diet. Oh, that's it, that's it. You want some salad, Eliam? Yeah. Mr. Eliam, he's a magician with the stuff, you know? The filters and the lenses and all that stuff. All right, so we're gonna make a tuna salad, okay? All these tomatoes, I did wash my hands yesterday, so you don't have to worry about germs. Tomatoes. Some tomatoes. I'm gonna cut up an onion. Really? Cut it out. No. You know, some cooking shows they don't show you how they cut their fingers. I'll show you everything. All right, we're gonna make uh, linguine. Linguine, and they're nice and thick, and they're from Italy, so they don't, they'll cook right. It's nice rolling boil, salted water. Push that shit in, okay. You gotta smell the salt. I got the nose for it. So I'm gonna tell you a little secret here, okay, Cox? When you make pasta, whatever sauce it is you're making, you're gonna put a little bit of the pasta water that's cooking here, that's salted and put it in the sauce to thicken it up. Okay, no butter, no sh like that. Just thicken it up with nice homemade water and salt. Stay tuned for this in Spanish, French, and Italian. Another trick. Put the boiling out. Put a wooden spoon in. Look at that, look at that. If you put the wooden spoon in, it doesn't boil over, huh? Stops the boiling over. So does my breath. Nice, it's nice. You can also lower the water. I'm gonna mix this a little bit. Make it dance, make the pasta dance. Beautiful dance, dance. Bella, bella. We were just in Italy a few weeks ago. And I ate really well. Even my coworker told me that I gained weight. We're gonna open up the can of tuna. For the seafood lover in you. Pour a little bit of the oil in here. Not too much, okay? Because we don't want to get fat. We don't want to get fat like... Uh. Drain the rest of the oil for the dogs. Boom. Bam, bam, bam. Can't say bam, it's already taken, eh? 
Okay. Rinse it out. I'm gonna cut up the onion. You could actually eat this like candy. It's so good, this onion. My dad, he knows how to pick onions. The trick to all good pasta making, taste the freaking noodles. Don't throw them on the fridge. Don't stick them on your grandmother's ass. Put, Taste them, put them in your mouth. If there's a little crunch left, it's almost done. Too crispy, we're getting good. Add a little salt, just a little bit, okay? Remember the hypertension stuff? Hey Ellie, what? can you bring back some basil, some fresh basil? <clears throat> Making everything spicy today. The way to take out a pit in the avocado. Everybody watch. Turn, boom, gone. Look at that. I'm gonna make a little score. Pop it out. Pop it up. Pop it up. Pop it. Thank you, buddy. Pop it up. Chop it, top it, pop it. All right, in the salad like that. Oh, yeah. Taste the pasta. Remember? Don't throw the pasta everywhere. I'm going to give this to the now right hand man over here. It's a taste. Don't burn your fingers. Go, boom. Some, some fell. Okay. Now we're just gonna chop the ends off of these broccolini. We like plant food in this home. Plant food is important. Not only for your health, but for the safety of the animals that were not injured in the making of this video. Also, because we have a produce company. We want people to eat more produce. It's important for everybody. Burn fingers. Burnt fingers. Salsa. You inhale the vape, right? Yep, I'm vaping. I'm gonna leave a little bit of water in the bottom of the pot, you see? And that's gonna be important. Doctor shake. Throw a little oil in here. A little bit. Okay. Beautiful. And pause. Toss it, toss it. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna serve this. Shut up, Kippy. I'm gonna get three plates. We're conserving uh, pots and pans. I'm gonna just add water to this pan. Process. Be careful. Sorry, I had all this fast. Huh? Mm -hmm. Seven minutes of cooking. Are you gonna go flirt with the pool guy after? After. Want cheese? So I'm tasting the nice salted water, the spice from the jalapeno, the kick from the garlic, the black pepper, a little black pepper, and then the taste of the, um, <clears throat> the salted water that goes on the sauce. These little red boys have to be cooked and not overcooked. Okay. All the things that have stinky smell when you cook are supposed to be very good for you. I'm not a scientist, but you may want to look that up. Este broccolini son muy buen para la salud. Este broccolini son très bon pour la santé. Questi broccolini son buonissimi per la salute. Este broccolini son muy buen para la salud. Ching Hong Fong Sang Sang Fong Chang. Broccoli. So uh, this is a little bit of a sad episode. Um, I don't know if you saw the last deal on that. Manchild TV, where George uh, did some stupid things to me. We got back. So I, I like to say that no animals were injured in the making of this film, but it's not true. Hold on. We used George's spleen for the tuna salad. It smells like George. It tastes like George. Thank you, George. That was a spleen. Cheers. Yes, Sue, Yorgos. So let's check out these last two videos and you'll figure out why he's the tuna.